I'm Annalisa, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Who would you say is the best heavyweight right now? You, you praise Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. Who would you say right now? You got Luis King Kong Ortiz and a couple other heavyweights. Who would you say right now, number one? Well, you know what? I see Wilder, I see Wilder as, uh, I mean, he's injured right now, so I can't, at this moment, I can't really place him number one. But I think that one thing that, that you have to keep in mind with Wilder is, his injuries now for the future so you know how is he going to react to them you have to throw that in the mix when you answer those questions so let's be real here i'm not gonna i'm not gonna just tell you and i'm not gonna sit here and paint a different picture that being that with that in the picture anthony joshua is the most heavyweight in the world he's the most you, you broke up you broke up a little bit you broke up a little bit he's the most what I, I, I said he's the most feared heavyweight in the world, and he ain't the most feared heavyweight because he's he, he he's not that fighter that that you're asking about. He is that fighter, and all these other guys they'd rather go around him. They all rather go around him, and and hell they are they'd all rather not even ever share a ring with him. So, um, you know, using all those facts in there, it will have to be Anthony Joshua. So, okay, I mean. As far as your current champions go, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. As far as the five champions. Yeah. So. Who wins the fight between um, Joseph Parker and Andy Ruiz? How does it go down? I say um, if they take it to New Zealand, Parker wins. Parker wins Parker in New wins. Zealand? Yeah, of course. Par Parker wins. I, I don't think that Andy Ruiz has the power to, 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 to hurt and, and knock out Parker. And I and I don't think he was a decision in, in, over there. It's not easy. You know, I, I was so, think, I was thinking, Eric, uh, when I seen Joseph Parker against Carlos Tackham, and he looked to me uncomfortable on the inside on the ropes. And I was thinking, if Andy Ruiz were to pressure him and get him on the ropes, he may have a major advantage in that fight. You know, that's yeah, you could be right. Yeah, definitely the style and the pressure could uh, could affect him, and, and he's definitely gonna. He's definitely going to fight somebody that's going to bring that pressure. So, you know, but I, I'm going to be completely honest with you, man. I've never really felt that strong about Parker. He's not a big heavyweight. He does not have a big punch, on, on contrary belief. Uh, you could look at all his fights. Show me a fight where he's clean sparked somebody out with one punch. You know a heavyweight's got a hard punch, but they could knock you out with one punch, not an accumulation of punches. Uh -huh. One punch at any given round. That's when you know that guy's got a good punch. And Andy Reeves don't do that. Parker don't do that. Joshua don't do that. Luis Ortiz can do that. Uh, Deontay Wilder can do that. And there's other fighters that can do that. Those are very dangerous fighters. And I, I, I think Parker's very skilled. He's fast. And, and uh, it, he's just going to see how he can handle the pressure. It, it's a good fight, though. I like the fight, you know. Excellent fight. Excellent fight. Well, man, um, I hope you get this uh, Anthony Joshua fight if Vladimir Klitschko, because it's not a, it's not official yet. Vladimir, he hasn't completely pulled out. But if Anthony's not fighting Klitschko, I hope you get the fight. Matter of fact, Eddie Hearn, he already reached out to you guys, right? Well, Eddie Hearn had a reach out for us for a prize fight. But, I mean, if you look at any interview and you see what he's, the names he's throwing out, he's throwing my name out first already. So, mm -hmm. you know, he knows. He knows firsthand that we're ready and willing to go fight him. So uh -huh. it's just up to him and Klitschko right now to see what happens. That's what it is, man. Hey, well, I want to thank you for your time. Anything else you want to say to the fans, man? Man, I just want to just want to send a shout out to all the fans and stuff. You know, it's hard being a heavyweight from South Texas. I don't get that much coverage, but you better believe I'm putting in work. And, and I call it the art of bouncing back. I'll continue to do that and uh, just trying to share my story. With the world. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks for your time, man. You take care, and I'll catch up with you when we get an announcement, man. All right, man. Thank you, man. All right, man. Take care, bro. Hi. You're, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo!